This is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on News Talk 1190 WOWO 92.3 FM. Visit them online at movingindiana.com. This hour will bring you the latest news and home trends in Fort Wayne and all of Indiana. Now, here's Tony and Sam. Good morning. Welcome to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WOWO 92.3 FM. I am Tony Didier, Vice President of Marketing from Coldwell Banker Roth Really Graber Real Estate, the number one real estate company in northern Indiana. We not only have three offices in Fort Wayne, but also we have offices in South Bend, Elkhart, Angola, Warsaw, Huntington, Columbia City. We're all over Indiana. We even have an office in Edwardsburg, Michigan. So if you're listening, we probably have an agent for you. Check out movingindiana.com for more information about us. And uh, also joining me, I have Sam Hartman, Director of Career Development from Coldwell Banker Roth, really Graber. Good morning, Tony, and thanks to everyone being out there listening to us today. Uh, very happy to be here, especially since the Colts game hasn't started yet. Exactly. So 10 to 11 every Sunday, check us out on the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show. We got tips for you on real estate, how the market's going. And uh, today we have some tips for you on moving. You know, our website's movingindiana.com. If we couldn't help you move, we'd be liars a little bit. <laughs> we, we might still be liars because we say we're moving Indiana, but I like Indiana right where it is. <laughs> but we're here to help move people in Indiana. So we're going to talk a little bit about some moving tips. Uh, nobody likes moving, really. It's just a pain. Um, but there are ways you can make it easier, right, Sam? Buying a home is a very exciting process. There's very little bit of that about that process that isn't fun and exciting, except for the move. No one likes moving. No one likes being asked to, nobody, to help someone move. Nobody wants that phone call. Let, let's be honest. We all try to be good <laughs> friends and family members, but no one enjoys that Sunday packing up the old truck. We've got some tips and some, some things to think about as you're planning your move. This is a very busy season for buying and selling homes, so there's a lot of moving trucks in, in apartment complexes and in neighborhoods, you know, making that move out and making that move into the new place. So um, we've got some tips and everything. One of the first things you're going to want to think about is the type of uh, time frame you're going to have, the type of budget you're going to have, and whether you do want to use a service or a partial service or or something like that to help you with the move. Um, there's a lot of services out there. Um, you can do partial services with with the large items like like furniture and everything like that. Pianos, pianos, you know the big stuff. Um, you know maybe a h- overweight husband, um, but <laughs> you know they can help you get those big items over to the house. You know and and they do a really efficient job of not dinging up the walls. Um, you know if you ask me to come help you move, you're probably going to end up with some scratched up doors and walls because. Don't ask. Your, the beer and pizza that you offered me to help move isn't enough for me to care that much. <laughs> <laughs> but there are there are professionals out there to help with those types of things. Or you can you know, do it all on your own. But you know, if you do a partial, you know that helps with the big stuff. Boxes are pretty easy. It might keep you from from renting a truck or every, everything. Um, so budget, you know, the household the household size that you're moving into and moving out of. All these things are definitely important things to think of and, and probably the most important thing to think of when you're thinking of what type of service to use or how much of a service to use might be the, the time frame that you have. You know, if you need to be out quick and in quick, um, it might definitely be a consideration to look at maybe utilizing a local service. Definitely. And there's a lot of good local services. Uh, ask your Coldwell Banker Roth really Graber agent for some recommendations for your move. I hate planning things, but if you got a lot of people helping you, um, it's good to plan to unpack before you pack. So you could even take pictures of the room and what it looked like before in your house if you want to kind of have a similar setup. You definitely want to plan what's going in which room in the new house. Maybe label your boxes for those rooms so that, you know, when you have family members taking boxes off the truck into the new house, they know exactly where to go. There's no confusion. They're putting things in the right place. And you might want to plan to put together some of the big things first, um, you know, such as beds and, and furniture and things like that in your room. So Kind of plan your unpack before you pack so that, you know, everybody knows where to go and it helps it go a lot faster. Yeah, that's a very frustrating thing for people helping someone move is when it's not packed efficiently or maybe it's not even completely packed when they come to help. Uh, I've had some family members that I've helped with that. So you're carrying out some individual shoes. Right, yeah, I'm just doing an old arm swipe, uh, you know, of all the items on the dresser straight into the box. They can sort it out later. Um, so, it, so it is important to, to pack strategically, you know, in that sense. Um, for for one, for the people that are helping you, but for two, um, during the unpacking process, you know a lot can can get lost and damaged in a uh, in a move. So packing strategically is going to help help uh, eliminate some of that loss and 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 confusion there. 
But there's a lot of things you can do beforehand. You know, if, if you do have some time to move, you anticipate the move coming. Um, you can take care of a lot of things. Doing a, a free change of address and scheduling your t- utilities ahead of time is something simple you can do, and you can do that at moving.com. Start packing early the little things that you know uh, you know, are knickknacks and don't necessarily, you're not going to be utilizing in the coming month up leading up to the move. You know, I'm sorry, you know, if pictures aren't hanging on the wall right up until the day that you move, but that's not something that you really need to function um, in your daily life because that ho- your house is sold. You're getting out. It's not your house anymore. So start mm-hmm. packing up those things, you know, kind of wean off of the emotional attachment that you have to the house by doing some of those things. And by that point, you're going to be really revved and ready to go to get into your new place and, and be organized and get in there as quick and efficiently as possible. Yeah, your house will be looking different anyway when you're taking stuff down. Kind of helps with the moving process and uh, the mental aspect of moving. Um, but also, you know, moving is hard enough as it is. You don't need things getting in the way. A lot of times, small children especially can't really help too much with the move. They can actually hurt, get in the way. They need care. Maybe think about getting a babysitter. Think about a daycare situation. And you want to keep them happy. Maybe put them in a safe place in the yard or something where you know they'll be um, with some friends. You want to keep them happy. Maybe feed the people helping you move. It plan for some pizzas or donuts if it's in the morning and, uh, you know, keep everybody in high spirit, spirits and happy and calm and not having, you know, kids, you know, in the way, people tripping over them. It's dangerous as well. These tips are about convenience and efficiency because there's probably going to be a lot of people helping you unless you do use a full service to help with your move. So getting the kids into daycare, even if you got a dog or pets or animals, getting them out of the way too. Not everyone's kids people, not everyone's dog people. They're there to help you move. They want to do it as quick and efficiently as possible. I know they probably love you because they're a great friend and they're a great family, but they want to be in and out of there. It's it's not a fun process to move. They're excited to see your new house, but uh, they want to get you in there as quickly and efficiently as possible. So tying up those loose ends with, with pets, dogs, animals, uh, and, and even the kids that can sometimes be animals running around themselves, <laughs> Uh, it's just going to be safer for them too, because if you got a moving truck and you've got lift gates and you got dollies rolling around, um, having kids around is definitely going to be you know more of a concern, definitely more of a burden than it is a help. Speaking of keeping track of small things, you know a lot of your furniture has small parts, screws, nuts, bolts. And when you're taking them apart, it's easy to drop them on the floor and forget about them, but then you're going to end up needing them when you put them back together. So keep track of the small parts, maybe put them in Ziploc bags, um, even better, tape them to the piece of furniture, uh, someplace where it won't damage the wood or, or the look of the furniture. Put them in a Ziploc, tape them to it or, or label everything just to make sure that you're keeping everything together because the last thing you want is to lose a bunch of small things during the move and you can't put your furniture together and then you got to make a run to the hardware store. Definitely keep Keep track of those small things. You know, it'll help you take care of your new home and get everything put back together. That's a really good tip because, I mean, if you lose that leg of the couch, one leg of the couch, I mean, you're out a whole couch. You can't really utilize it unless you're, you know, sticking a couple of, uh, you know, CD cases underneath it or something. Um, or you always be leaning in one direction. <laughs> that that as well. You could probably use a One Direction CD to, <laughs> to support it, though, because we all know no one's listening to that. <laughs> Absolutely. But that's a great point about keeping those small parts put together, um, keeping the ele- ec- electronic hookups and everything put together as well. Um, taking a picture of of the backs of things and making sure you know what cords connect to where, uh, keeping cords tightly bundled and organized with the proper um, with the proper electronic equipment, even if you have to bundle them up and, and tape them or connect them to that piece of equipment because wires can get you know very obscure looking when you throw them all in one box together. So keeping those organized and when you're making the move uh, so that when you're unpacking and can get that TV hooked up nice and quick so you can sit for your first night in your new home and enjoy a movie or enjoy some TV uh, when you get back and you're not missing a power cord or a cable connection or anything like that. So um, you know that's another important piece that you don't want to lose. Yeah, you could tape them or zip tie them to it and even take a picture of the back of the TV so you can see where everything goes. Or you could just get the techie member of your family to do it. I personally think I'd just have no problem hooking a TV system back up. But not everybody's like that. So, And maybe you've been in your house for a long time and you haven't changed any hookups in a long time. So check it out before you unhook it. Picture is probably the best way so you can remember how everything works. Because you definitely want your sound and your TV and your DVDs or Blu-rays working when you get to the new house. um, Because you're going to need to relax after that long day of moving. Uh, And finally... You know, safety is very important when you're moving, um, you know, running into people and, you know, dropping things, you know, obviously get help when you're carrying big items. 
um, you know, such as, you know, refrigerators and, and couches and things like that and beds. Lift with your legs. Lift with your legs. That's the good exactly, advice. exactly. But also the toxins, you may not think about this, but, you know, hopefully you have cleaning supplies in your house and you want to take them to the new house. Um, maybe get rid of some of the more empty ones that you don't really need to move. Um, and definitely call the city's waste disposal department for help on how to, um, you know, get rid of those in an eco-friendly way. Uh, those things are dangerous. You don't want kids moving them, and you definitely don't want to overfill the boxes those are in. So, you know, make sure you got plenty of room in the box and uh, maybe put them all in bags first as well so that, you know, they don't leak. Speaking of cleaning supplies, I just have one more quick tip to, to throw in here at the end. that Your, your new home is never going to be as easy to clean as it is when you first buy it giving it a real good cleaning before you move in. I, I feel like that goes without saying, but sometimes, you know, you're just in a rush and you move in. The home's never going to be easier to clean by not having furniture, not not having all of your your items in it. So being able to clean the carpets, being able to wipe the walls, cobwebs, a uh, good mopping and everything, you can really, uh, really get the home sparkling before you bring everything in uh, from the outside. So it's really going to be your, your best opportunity to take that time and 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 do something really thorough like that you know maybe the previous homeowner was great at keeping it clean and gave it a good clean for you beforehand but you don't know you know the moms and aunts who can't carry the heavy stuff put them in the home cleaning first get everyone in their own little segment you know doing the jobs that suit them well this is the moving indiana real estate show you can go to movingindiana.com for more information on caldwell banker roth Worley graber the number one real estate company in the area i'm tony didier along with sam hartman from caldwell banker roth Worley graber and we're going to be coming to you uh, back with some great interviews. Kevin Hunter, president of Windows, Doors, and More, is going to be on the show later talking about warranties for your home. You're going to want to stick around for our next segment with Kelly Durnell from Hallmark Home Mortgage talking about an MCC credit. You probably haven't heard of it, but it's an unbelievable opportunity if you're a first-time home buyer. It's just money in your pocket. So stick around after the break for that interview with Kelly Durnell from Hallmark Home Mortgage. And at the end of the show, we're going to talk about the open houses later this afternoon. So we'll be back on the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo 92.3 FM. You're listening to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show with Tony and Sam. Visit them online at movingindiana.com. You're listening to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show with Tony and Sam. On News Talk 1190 WoWo 92.3 FM. Welcome back to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo 92.3 FM. I'm Tony Didier. Alongside me is Sam Hartman. We're from Coldwell Banker Roth Willie Graber, the number one real estate company in northern Indiana. We have 10 offices and over 300 agents, all that can help you buy or sell your home. They can show you any home, whether it's for sale by us or another real estate company. And you can find us at movingindiana.com, our newly redesigned and newly improved website it's lightning fast easiest way to search for homes also some great tips on selling so check out movingindiana.com and if you have any questions about real estate just email us at sales at movingindiana.com now of course if you're thinking about buying a home the first thing you always got to do is figure out if you can afford it and talk to a mortgage professional get pre-approved and uh, there's some tools out there with mortgages they come and go you know there's there's certain opportunities tax credits things like that and we're going to talk about a credit today called the mcc uh, but to do that we're going to call up uh, a mortgage professional kelly durnell loan officer at hallmark home mortgage good morning kelly how you doing good morning guys we were talking a little bit about certain opportunities um, for mortgages and one of them is called the mcc can you tell us a little bit about what the mcc is absolutely it is a program through Indiana Housing called Mortgage Credit Certificate. And what it does, it helps borrowers to seek a little bit more affordable housing. The Mortgage Credit Certificate, the program itself, is an income-driven program. So two people in your household can make up to $63,000 a year. If you have three or more people in your household, income yearly is $72,450. So if you make less than those two figures and have that many people in your home, then you do qualify. The other qualification for the mortgage credit certificate is you must be a first-time home buyer. And in Indiana Housing Guys, a first-time home buyer is someone who has not owned a home in the past three years. So if you owned a home five years ago and have been renting for the last five years, you are a first-time buyer in, in this program. 
Okay, so how um, exactly does it work? How do you, um, what's the benefit of the MCC? Well, the borrower can either take the credit at the end of the year or on each paycheck. And what happens if you take it at each paycheck, the borrower can choose to revise their W-4 form, the withholdings form, at their employment. And they, they can choose to get a little bit more money on each paycheck, or if you wait until the end of the year, it is a dollar-for-dollar dollar tax credit. So let's say that your MCC was uh, the yearly amount maybe was $500 and you owed the IRS $750 at the end of the year, then with this MCC, if you have it, you would only owe the IRS $250. So, so how in the MCC, how is that credit figured in terms of, you know, you, you kind of threw out an estimate of $500. How is that figured into, you know, what someone would get as a credit? If a borrower has a mortgage of, let's say, $50,000, the fee for the program at closing would be $250. So you pay $250 to get the credit for the life of the loan that you're in that house. So you've got a $50,000 mortgage. Let's say your interest rate is five and a quarter. You would be able to claim at the end of the year $918.75 as your annual tax credit. If you do it on your pay stubs, monthly you would receive $76.56 more per month in your pocket. It helps the borrowers to have a little bit more money in their pocket to buy a little bit better house. Wow, that's substantial. So you do you pay taxes on that? No, you do not. Um, it, again, it's a tax credit at the end of the year. It is in addition to the annual interest deduction that the borrowers receive. So the $918 in my example here, again, if they owed $1,000, $918 of that is already taken up because they have the MCC. Or let's say they owe zero. They're going to get $918.75 back on their tax return. Cha-ching. <laughs> yes, That's... exactly. It is a wonderful program. Any first-time buyer out there, um, if they have a, you know the extra two hundred and fifty dollars, like in my example, if they've got that in, at closing, they need to do this program. Each year, they receive that tax credit. Now, let's say year two, the tax credit will be a, a little bit less than the nine eighteen seventy five because their principal amount has come down some. And so next year, you know, I haven't calculated it, but maybe it will be $910. And then third year, it will go down a little bit because their principal, again, has come down. And that obviously is the goal of any home homeowner. They want that principal to go down. But if they live in that home for 30 years, they get the tax credit each year, obviously prorated to the, the amount of their principal balance. It, again, it is a wonderful program that Indiana has. And like I said, I suggest any borrowers, any first-time borrowers, they can do it. That's awesome. And it's actually something that I ha had no idea about until I was in the home searching process. And my Coldwell Banker agent told me about it over two years ago. And so I'm still taking advantage of that today. Is this a timely thing? Is this something that we see going away or that buyers need to keep in mind if they want to take advantage of it? They need to get into the market now, or is this something that we're going to have in the foreseeable future? I think it is in the foreseeable future because we've had it for many years. Um, I don't think that it was as popular many years ago. I believe that they charged a little bit more money several years ago, and when they adjusted it down to the smaller amount that the borrowers needed, I think that so many other lenders got involved and so many realtors at that point, Coldwell Banker realtors have come to me for years and asked for this program for their borrowers. So, you know, it, it's been around and I think it will stay around. It's to help that first-time borrower to, to qualify for more home. And in times, in economic times like we've been through, you know, that's a great thing to have. Does it always cost two hundred fifty dollars up front, no matter what you know price of house or income you have? Do you get you receive no. more the higher price the house is? No, yes, it's it's the higher price the house, the higher the amount. It is a half a percent 
of the loan amount. Okay. So a hundred thousand dollar loan, it would be five hundred dollars. So there, there's obviously that small upfront investment to take advantage of this program, which might scare people away. It seems silly because it would really kind of pay itself back within the first year of owning the home. Is that something that maybe, you know, a lot of first time home buyers ask for closing costs at, at the table when, when they close on a home? Is that something that could be worked into closing costs if there was enough money there? Actually, no, that wouldn't. That has to be paid for and all the paperwork done prior to closing. So that is something they would need, you know, they would need to get on their own. But that could be gifted from a family member. So final question, uh, just to clarify for everyone, we're talking about the MCC credit for first time home buyers. So Kelly, if you're a first time home buyer and you, um, you know, meet the requirements salary wise, um, there's really no reason not to do it if you can afford the $250 or how, whatever it's going to cost you. Absolutely. Absolutely. We suggest to every home buyer that, you know, that's a first time buyer uh, to, to do this program. It is well worth it and financially will assist that home buyer in, for many years to come. Excellent. And that's the kind of service you get from Hallmark Home Mortgage. They're always looking out for programs that are they're going to help you out. So, uh, Kelly, if people are thinking about getting pre-approved and buying their first home or, you know, maybe even move up or move down second or third home, how do they get a hold of you? My direct line is 435-6346 or hallmarkhomemortgage.com uh, backslash K Durnell. Uh, you can do your application right online also at any time. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Kelly. Great insight. We look forward to talking to you again soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Yep. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Kelly Drunell from Hallmark Home Mortgage. Always a great interview. We had her on last week. And uh, as always, if you want to catch last week's episode um, and you can kind of move it around to the part you would like to learn more about, you can go to movingindiana.com and scroll down to the bottom uh, on our blog post. We always post the most recent show. So be sure to go and uh, check out last week's show. Kelly did a good job on that one as well. But man, that MCC credit is really a good deal. Yeah, it's, you know, coming from personal experience, this is something I've taken advantage of the last couple of years, and it makes for a very happy tax season. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason not to do it. It's just money in your pocket. You don't even remember spending the money up front anymore, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. Don't even remember what I put down on it, so... <laughs> All right, well, this is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show, where we give you real estate tips and information every Sunday from 10 to 11 on 1190 WoWo, 92.3 FM. And coming up next, we have Kevin Hunter, president of Windows, Doors, and More, talking to us a little bit about what they can offer for you as well. So stick around. Kevin Hunter, president of Windows, Doors, and More, coming up next. You're listening to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on News Talk 1190 WoWo, 92.3 FM. This is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on News Talk 1190 WoWo, 92.3 FM. Welcome back to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo, 92.3 FM. We're here every Sunday from 10 to 11 talking about real estate tips, the real estate market, and information. I'm Tony Didier. Alongside me is Sam Hartman from Coldwell Banker Roth Worley Graber, Northern Indiana's number one real estate company. Statistically, during the week, we sell a home every 22 minutes, so... We sell a lot of houses. And uh, although we're expert on most things real estate, we also, you know, need to go to other companies as well for even more information to help you with the transaction. And we have a lot of partners out there, Hallmark Home Mortgage, Riverbend Title. And every week on the radio show, we like to have Kevin Hunter on, president of Windows, Doors, and More. I think it's important to note that not everything comes with a warranty when you're buying a home. And really, some things that say they have a warranty actually don't cover everything. Uh, it can get confusing. Uh, joining us on the phone now is Kevin Hunter, president of Windows Doors and More. Hello, Kevin. It's real good to be with you this morning. Let's talk about warranties you have around the home. If you're interested in buying a home, what are some things you need to think about and look for during an inspection? Well, well, first of all, if it's a brand new home, you're going to want to absolutely make sure that you know where the appliances came from. You're going to want to know what type of windows are in that home. And you're going to want the warranty copies. You're going to need the paperwork. And I can't stress that enough. I, um, I can't tell you the number of times each week that we have visits from uh, homeowners that are you know, a little bit uh, distressed, so to speak, when they walk in and say, we don't know what kind of windows we have. Can you help us figure out what we have? Because there's no markings. There's no, we don't know what we have. And it's a very tough thing. To, to sometimes to figure out because so many of the manufacturers don't put their labels on their products 
a lot of the builders remove a lot of the labeling, so to speak, when they're doing their staining and painting and so forth. And you sure don't want to have to take a window out of an opening to read what's on the side of the label of the window itself. So you, you want to get copies of the, of the different manufacturers of the doors, the windows, the furnace. You know, all those big ticket, uh, the roofing, another big one. You want to know what manufacturer that is the, up on your roof. Because that's another big potential thing down the road that if there's an issue, you'll, you're going to want to know what you have there. And you want the certificates, you want to be able to call that manufacturer back and have them stand behind their warranties. Talk about warranties you offer and the products you stand by. Well, I'll tell you, window warranty-wise, I can you know strongly state here uh, that there is no better warranty. It has a lot to do with the fact that we're manufacturing our own products uh, in, in our local gravel factory, and we offer a warranty on all parts and labor as long as a homeowner lives in that home and it's transferable one time. So it's great peace of mind that if they don't have to worry about, okay, if my window's not locking or I have moisture that gets inside of the glass or you know, we will take care of those issues if you have them. That's something that we, we take great pride in is telling and reinforcing that week in and week out, year after year, that we're going to stand behind our windows and our doors extremely well. Doors, are, it's a 10-year warranty that you know, we, we guarantee that the, that the function of that door and the opening and closing of that door is going to, be, it's going to just be outstanding. There's a problem with the door. Uh, we're, we come out at no charge and we repair it and take care of it. And that's not necessarily the case when you're, you're buying doors from through a, a home center or if you're buying uh, windows and doors through a, a local contractor that's working out of their home, uh, you, you, you know, or out of their truck, so to speak, you, you, you want to be able to know that they have a location, they have somebody that they can go in and talk to. And then the other thing is just checking with other people that you know, they might work with or other, check the Better Business Bureau, check Angie's List, do your due diligence and make sure that you're, you're buying from a reputable company that's going to stand behind their warranties because there's a lot of complaints out there within the BBB, especially that, uh, that you know, that the companies that just don't go back and take care of clients. And it's a shame because it's part of the purchase and part of the promise. A lot of people assume there's a warranty with their purchase, but you have to be careful because that's not always the case with some companies, right? It's not the case. And I'm sometimes really amazed that, uh, I think sometimes, uh, they, you know, not everything that glitters is gold, so to speak. Uh, you, you, you get some really quick, uh, maybe, uh, oh, yeah, it's got a great warranty. Well, look at the warranty copy. Ask for a copy of the paperwork. Don't make a snappy decision. You know, take it with you. Uh, any deal that, that's just only good for a day or good right now is not a good deal. If there's pressure being applied to a homeowner, whether it's in their home or they're in somebody's uh, place of business, there should not ever be pressure in making a decision about your home improvements. They Take your time, take the paperwork with you, walk away from it, read it through, make sure that everything's uh, uh, kosher. Even maybe uh, even have another family member read it over as well and say, "Is this what this means?" Or you know, you know, my, do I understand this correctly? Because again, you don't want the surprise down the road that oh, three years from now that you thought you had a lifetime warranty on parts and labor, and all of a sudden you have a problem with the window. And they say, yeah, and by the way, it's going to be a fifty dollar charge for the visit and twenty dollars per hour while we're there. And, and unfortunately, that happens in in our marketplace, and that doesn't leave a homeowner feeling very good about their purchase after they thought that was not the case. It's important to do research on companies, do the background work to know who you're dealing with. And I think you're going to like what you find uh, about Kevin Hunter and Windows Doors and more. First and foremost, I, you, know, you call us at uh, our Washington Center Road location at 422-7077 or visit our neighborhood showcase uh, and, and come in. We have five homes uh, built there. You can see the product operate the product, ask as many questions you want, feel free to come and go as you like. We, we are not, a, you know, again, there's just no pressure that should be applied to, to homeowners or, you know, regarding making big decisions like this. Uh, it just means you got to be comfortable. you got to be comfortable with who you're, you're, you're getting your product through and you have to, you know, make sure that you're assured that you're going to be able to get the service after the fact because, unfortunately, uh, we get calls Again, daily asking if we repair other people's products, and 
and unfortunately we do not. We we only handle our own products because with each window company manufacturer has unique uh, parts and pieces that uh, we don't have. These parts and pieces we just you know again being a local manufacturer uh, that really helps our cause and we can you know get you know things uh, rounded up and taken care of if there indeed is a problem. So how can someone reach you at Windows Doors and more? Again, I just uh, you you can just walk into the store. We're open you know, six days a week. We're closed on Sundays. Just uh, stop out, and uh, you know again, uh, you know uh, we're we're there to answer your questions. We're there to help you uh, every step of the way, and uh, that's that's a great way to get started. Just just stop out in person and and, and start you know looking at what what's available. And uh, again, windows are have really come a long ways through the years. They're they're they're, they're it's been a, quite an innovation of. Uh, of products, so to speak, with all the latest, greatest, uh, you know, items that you can get on your windows. Thanks. Kevin Hunter, president of Windows, Doors, and More. Have a great day, Kevin. Thanks so much for having me. Always a great interview. Kevin Hunter with some great information on uh, warranties for your home and, uh, you know, the things you're putting in your home as well. Uh, you always got to cover yourself. And your Coldwell Banker Roth, really Graber real estate agent, will have a lot of tips on how to cover yourself, um, not just after you buy the home, but during the whole process of purchasing a home, selling a home. Um, we have your back at Coldwell Banker Roth, really Graber. And for more information on us, check out movingindiana.com, our newly redesigned website. It's awesome. If you're looking for homes or even if you just like looking at homes for fun, Definitely check out the site. Really easy to use. Great map search. Puts all the homes on the map at once. It's crazy how fast it is. Check that out. And if you are interested in looking at homes, it is Sunday. We have some open houses coming up. And we're going to talk about our open houses a little bit in the next segment. So during halftime of the football game, be sure to check out some open houses and stick around to hear more about those. Tony Didier and Sam Hartman with you from Coldwell Banker Roth, Worley Graber on the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo 92.3 FM. This is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on News Talk 1190 WOWO 92.3 FM. Visit them online at movingindiana.com. You're listening to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show with Tony and Sam on News Talk 1190 WOWO 92.3 FM. Welcome back to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo 92.3 FM. Tony Didier here alongside Sam Hartman from Coldwell Banker Roth Really Graber, number one real estate company in the area. If you're looking to buy or sell soon, you can go to movingindiana.com where we have information on tips to sell your home, buy your home, and even have all the home listings of every home for sale. We have them all on a map and we have community and neighborhood information. Uh, basically, it's the best way to search for homes locally, and that's not me being biased. That's because it is. <laughs> the uh, national sites can get a little cluttered with those homes from other states and everything, and uh, it gets hard to find the house you want. And other local sites just don't have the technology that ours has with the map search and the mobile site and everything. If you're following along on the show and you want to check out some open houses today, pull up movingindiana.com, uh, check the open houses box and see what's uh, available to see today. And if you're on your smartphone, you can actually look for the open houses nearest you um, so that's pretty cool if you're going to check them out in a little bit, maybe at halftime of the football games. Um, and the first open house we have today, we're going to start northeast uh, in the Leo area in Mallard's Lake. Uh, this home is 299.9. It's open from 2 to 4 with Joyce Swartz. And I've actually been in this home, and it is an awesome home. It's got some beautiful architectural elements to it inside. It's got a three car garage, four bedrooms. It's a, a ranch on a basement with an open floor plan and nine-foot ceilings. Check out this home at Pintail Drake Court. That's 6732 Pintail Drake, and that's in Mallard's Lake subdivision. Nine-foot ceilings in a basement is a really nice feature to have. That's very cool for that house. The next open house is also in northeast uh, Fort Wayne here, and this is an open house from 1 to 3, hosted by Deborah Ramsey. It is located at 1632 Benham Road. This is an open floor plan, uh, three bedroom, three bathroom, spacious ranch. Uh, it's got a great front room with cathedral ceilings, large eat-in kitchen, formal living room and dining rooms. It's located on a generous lot with a lot of mature trees. So this is going to be a great house, a uh, very nice ranch there, and it's listed for one nineteen nine. So get out and see Deborah Ramsey at 1632 Benham Road in northeast Indiana from 1 to 3. I also got one uh, in Northeast Fort Wayne listed by Randy Harvey. This one's open one to four, and it's a very affordable price for this ranch, um, 89.5. It's got great curb appeal, 
and it's been uh, you know meticulously maintained and updated. It's got some beautiful trees uh, inside. You got oak hardwood floors in all the bedrooms, a spacious eat-in kitchen, and all appliances stay. So if you're a first-time home buyer, you got two-car uh, side entry garage and a fenced backyard for eighty-nine-five in Northeast Fort Wayne. You can't really beat that. So this is at six seven one zero Belfield Drive in Maplewood Terrace. That's off of uh, Maple Crest Road. Another Northeast property listed at 7228 Pumpkin Lane. That's fitting with fall coming right around the corner. True story. Good this time is to a, buy it. Th- this is a remodeled ranch. It's like new with the remodel work that they had. It's three bedroom and one full bath. All appliances are going to be coming included. Large fence yard and only minutes from Parkview North and DuPont Hospitals. This is a great great opportunity for a first time home buyer. Very affordable um, with nothing that needs done to it. It's completely remodeled and ready to go for you. It's listed for 72.5 and this is from one to four today. And again, that's at 7228 Pumpkin Lane, and that's hosted by Doug Lucas. Let's round out our Northeast open houses. We got one from 1 to 3 at 6131 Sawmill Woods. It's a condo listed by Yvonne Muma. So you got a great price of 67.9. That's going to be an extremely affordable monthly payment. And it's in great condition. It's got new frise carpet and a high efficiency furnace. Uh, new interior paint. I mean, not much needs to be done. And with it, for 67.9, you got a clubhouse, pool, tennis courts, private patio. If you're looking for maintenance free living, uh, you can check out 6131 Sawmill Woods today, Northeast. Uh, from one to three. We'll move our tour out southwest. There's an open house hosted today from one to three by Betty Sue. And this one is located at 5915 North Bridge. It's a new listing in Devil's Hollow. It's got the lot has ponds, mature trees, and lush foliage, a new roof, a kitchen with granite countertops, grable cabinetry, new cooktop, a lot of great space in this three bedroom, two full bath, and a walkout basement. Get out and see Betty Sue Rao today from one to three, and this property is listed for four four nine. Yeah, Devil's Hollow. That's a nice neighborhood. I got another uh, nice neighborhood southwest for you here in Bittersweet Lakes. This is one one zero two zero Bittersweet Lake Court, open from two to four, hosted by Charla Charay for three eighty four nine, and it is a grand looking home from the outside with a three car garage. It's beautiful. Got a fireplace and chimney looking good from the outside there. Um, over 4,700 finished square feet, four bedrooms, four and a half baths, first floor master and new hardwood floors. You got coffered ceiling in the great room, which is a beautiful traditional touch, very traditional looking home with lots of trees and a pond view. So you got a lot of daylight windows in there. Just an awesome home at 11020 Bittersweet Lake Court, open from two to four, hosted by Charla Charay for 384.9. Still staying out southwest, Myron Strasberger from 1 to 4 today is hosting an open house at 15030 Powderhorn Road. Get out and see this large and luxurious property. It looks like it's really on a beautiful lot. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. Highlights a fireplace, spacious size, family room, breakfast room, well water outbuildings, and a ton of comfort in this home. So get out and see this beautiful lot. It's a very nice looking home, and it's listed for three sixty four nine. And Myron is hosting that from one to four today. And also southwest from one to three, we got one two one two zero Sunningdale Court, and this is a uh, scintillating style home on a cul de sac, four bedrooms. Three bathrooms, traditional style, this prestigious home boasts fireplace, three-car garage, jet tub, and awesome deck. So see Jerry ranking from one to three at 12120 Sunningdale Court out southwest for 269.9. Get out and see Marlon French today at her open house from 1 to 3 at her new listing in Calera. This home is at 11131 La Fortuna Way. It's a charming home in Southwest Allen County School Districts. Kitchen with restoration hardware cabinets. French doors to the patio, upgraded wood floors with laminate finish, and a new deck and fenced-in backyard. Great listing here uh, with a good price of one fifty eight nine. so get out and see Marlon from 1 to 3 today. And from 1 to 4 in the same neighborhood, you might as well swing over to 10927 Calera Passage. This is hosted by Misty Marquez, and this one's only 149.9, and it's got some great curb appeal. It's a good-looking home with beautiful views from the backyard and open concept three-bedroom, two-bath ranch with an upgraded master bath with a large ceramic walk-in shower. I do love those. So for one forty nine nine, that's a good price southwest with that kind of shower. So from one to four, 10927 Calera Passage. 
Karen Sergine is hosting an open house southwest from 1 to 3, located at 3714 Hazelhurst Drive. This location is just off of Jefferson Boulevard. Well-maintained three-bedroom ranch with den and basement. It's got beautiful hardwood and fresh paint, three-car tandem garage, hot tub, and the whole house generator. Um, new hot water heater, new heat and air and dishwasher in 2010. So it's got a lot of upgrades. It's not going to need much work. And it's a great value for this part of town. Uh, 97.5 is what that's listed out. So get out and see that house at, from 1 to 3 today. Andrea Patterson has an open house between 2 and 4 out southwest for just fifty nine nine. You can get in a cute little Cape Cod, three bedrooms, two baths with brand new carpet. So for fifty nine nine, it's a really affordable price for a home that's ready to go. Um, it's got built-in cabinets in the dining room, one car garage, uh, lots of character and storage area in the basement, uh, including a fenced yard with a large deck. So definitely see two eight zero seven MacArthur Drive. That's two eight zero seven MacArthur Drive from two to four out southwest in Waynedale. We'll keep Andrea busy with her next listing at 102 South Cornell. This was just price reduced and it's ready to move in. It's a two bedroom ranch, uh, uh, 1,000 square feet with an attached garage. Uh, It's a small house, but for the southwest side of town, it's great value. It's listed at $50,000 and all the appliances stay, fenced backyard, covered porch, central air, new carpet. So you're not going to need to do anything to this home. Great value for a two bedroom ranch if that's what you're looking for. Lifts at 50,000. So get out and see Andrea from 12 to 2 at that listing. If you're trying to get in the Carroll School District, I got an awesome value for you here at 116.9. We've moved back up northwest. Open 1 to 4 in Carroll Schools, 1727 Shakespeare Boulevard. It's an open concept with the cathedral ceiling in the great room. Good looking ranch. Um, it's got an oak kitchen and the appliances stay, and it's professionally landscaped. Price for a quick sale at 116.9. So check that out while you can today in Stratford Forest. Open between 1 and 4 at 1727 Shakespeare Boulevard, hosted by Dave Gull. And we'll finish off with going back northeast with Bill Biggs' location at 4931 Hartford Drive. This open house is going from 3 to 5 today. It's a big and beautiful home, for, uh, enough room for a family in there. It's got large bay windows uh, in the living room and the dining room and a family-sized kitchen. The master bedroom has a 12 by 10 walk-in closet, which is a great feature, and it's got a large wood deck off the back. So this home is listed for 115 and the open house goes from 3 to 5 today. So get out and see Bill Biggs, Northeast Fort Wayne, and check that out. Wow, great price to fit the whole big family in there Mm -hmm. in Northeast. Absolutely. All right, well, that's our show for today. This is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo 92.3 FM, where we join you every Sunday from 10 to 11. So tune in, catch the open houses for the day, and also get some tips on real estate and how the market's going. Today we had some great insight from uh, Kevin Hunter, president of Windows, Doors, and More, and Kelly Durnell, loan officer at Hallmark Home Mortgage, with an awesome opportunity uh, called the MCC Credit. Um, if you want to listen to this show later on and, and review, you can go to movingindiana.com, scroll to the bottom, and and find the latest show posts. You can also see any home for sale in the area um, on the easiest way to search for homes online. So check out movingindiana.com if you haven't already on your computer, iPad, iPhone, Droid, tablet, whatever the case may be. It's uh, the easiest way to browse for homes for sure. I'm Tony Didier from Coldwell Banker Roth Worley Graber, the number one real estate company in northern Indiana, and Sam Hartman, great show today. Also from Caldwell Banker Roth, Riley Graber, Director of Career Development. So join us again next week from 10 to 11 on 1190 WoWo and 92.3 FM on the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show.